friends. I have a short little video, um, a little travel video for you this week. In the past three weeks, almost a month now, I've only been home I think five whole days out of almost four weeks and which has definitely kept me out of the sewing room <laughs> and just made it difficult for me to get my fun sewing videos done. Things are calming down. I did do in that time one short little fun trip to Kansas City. Um, my husband had a business trip and my daughter lives in the area so I went I drove up with him and got to stay in his nice hotel and hang out with my kid every day. So I'm going to just put in a little uh, short video up for you t um, today of my Kansas City trip and some of the fun places I went. If you ever head to Kansas City, maybe you can check out these fun places too. And um, I went to some really neat vintage shops. I mostly ate my way through Kansas City, which is usually what I do when I travel. I try all the fun restaurants and neat things. I just love to see the city's architecture and um, interesting things about them too. We lived in the Kansas City area for almost three years, but since then, you know, there's always new restaurants and new things happening. So almost everywhere we went, I had never been before. I think everywhere we went, I had never been before at this time. So that was really fun. So thanks for indulging me as I do a fun little video. I actually have two more sewing videos partially done in the short time I was home. I've been working on things. So there's more coming next week. We will be back sewing. show you my knee may travel wardrobe including what I'm currently have, what I currently have on. I'll try and remember to put the pattern numbers up somewhere so you can see what they are. Okay let me show you what I got. mostly me made wardrobe for this trip. So let me show you what I brought. And I'm gonna try and remember to put the pattern numbers up. All right, we'll start with these. I don't know that I'm gonna need everything. I'm here for four days, but you might recognize this. I'm getting ready to press everything. Made this very recently. This is the Cali shirt. And I brought a pair of white jeans that I did not make to go with it, so that's one outfit. This lovely linen dress I made a long time ago. It's lined, I added a pocket. I just love it, it's so easy to wear and perfect for springtime. And you might recognize this dress too. This is another linen dress. And even though it's linen, look at how well both of these linen dresses travel because they were stuffed in that suitcase. That shirt, however, needs a little help because I pulled it out of the dryer, so it has not been pressed at all. Then I also brought in my packing cube, I have got this dress that I adore, maybe wearing it to dinner tonight with my daughter. And I even packed the elastic belt, has the high-low skirt it's easy breezy to wear packs like a dream because it's made out of this um, crepey georgette and then i just made this 
I also packed my lemon dress. This is made out of a rayon crepe. It is a, um, you can see it's like a gauzy crepe. Look at that, pulled it, just pulled it out. I'm gonna give it a quick little steam and it's almost floor length. Packed a belt to go with it and it's sash. And I also packed my favorite baby doll, Nighty. So comfy, cool, easy to wear. It looks cute if we get a fire drill and I have to run out into the hallway, which happens, seems like, all the time when we travel. So that is my current wardrobe that I have brought for my four days in Kansas City, four days, three nights. And I traveled in this with a pair of easy capris and my sneaks. I also have a couple pair of um, a dressy pair of sandals and a comfy sort of Birkenstock style of sandal to wear because I do a lot of walking when I'm here as a rule. Excited to go to dinner, need to find out what to wear and get myself zhuzhed up a little bit because I've been in the car for quite a few hours. Okay, I'll show you some more of my Kansas City trip and all the fun things I get up to. just hanging out this morning I'm in the hotel for a little bit until my daughter comes to pick me up and I'm just sitting here crocheting and I'm watching a little YouTube <laughs> something to keep me busy while I'm waiting my husband's doing work stuff so he's already out and um, handling all of that and I really just need a good iced coffee at this moment maybe even a hot coffee because it's like hazy and a little bit chilly out there I'll show you my complete outfit in a little bit my current work in progress and it's packed in this bag that I love and use all of the time for this sort of thing.
Okay, so it's Wednesday, um, the week that I'm recording this, and I'm up here with Hotel Internet trying to update all of the things. My video has posted um, because it's scheduled, but I have to go and like update my website, um, update the Facebook page, those sort of things. So I am here trying to get the internet to load on my computer, getting that done before I check out go meet my daughter downstairs, go have a fun day with her, then meet up with my husband and my daughter's partner for dinner, then go to a different hotel for one more night before I finally get to head home. So that's today's itinerary. I don't know what fun things I'm going to be doing yesterday. We did tons of things. I hopefully saw all that already as I'm trying to kind of do this daily. So hopefully the internet will load and I can get some things done before I have to get out. Okay, day three outfit of the day. wearing my comfy sneaks because yesterday I walked almost 15,000 steps in a pair of sandals and my feet are hurting today. So sneakers with my little linen dress. Let's go do fun stuff. It's day four and we've moved hotels. No longer amazing views of anything. Yep. It's just an alleyway. We're also in a different city and the window's really dirty. video and I will see you next week as we get back to sewing. Mm -hmm.